Hey, what's up, guys? Arlie here, and I'm here with another video. So I'm here to bring you some news. Okay, so, um, man, it is crazy, dude. So, Chung, this girl who dressed as Chung Lee on stream was banned from Twitch for sexually suggestive content. What does that even mean? I don't know. Because, in my opinion, she didn't do anything sexually suggestive. If anything, she just looked like a goddamn meme. But they had to ban her. Because, guess what? That's just Twitch being Twitch. Why you got a Lenity out here selling panties to strangers for cash and just marrying random dudes just for. I don't know, what was it, citizenship? And she's, like, purposely showing her boobies on stream. She's throwing cats. I mean, where is the balance? Where is the transparency? Where is the, um, the equal treatment among streamers and their policies? You have a Lenity on the other hand, throws cats and does all these egregious actions and doesn't get any fucking, like, consequences from it. She didn't even get suspended. She just gets a... It's okay. At this point, I'm starting to think she's just, like, having sex with one of the Twitch higher-ups. I don't know. That's probably not true. I'm not here to do, put defamation on anybody, but at this point, it's like every other girl has gotten, like... Like, a lot of girls actually get away with being on Twitch and doing stuff, but then it's weird, like, how these girls that barely do anything get banned, you know, like, it's crazy, like, there's been times Pokey, Pokemon has dressed a certain way on Twitch and nothing has happened, but you got one girl who dressed as Chun-Li and somehow they're sexually suggestive, I smell something wrong, man, Twitch has to get their shit together. If they don't get their shit together, they're going to lose a ton of creators. They're going to lose a ton of streamers. And Mixer's already picking up some stream, Steam. You know, Twitch is the top. You know, I don't think Mixer can come close to Twitch. I think Mixer's a great platform, but Twitch obviously has a monopoly on the live streaming market. But it doesn't mean that they can't fall apart. And this is just another action that puts their... It just puts them in this other place where it's like, dude, what what the hell is going on? What are y'all doing? Okay? What's going on that you guys can't distribute fair treatment with your policies across the entire platform? Even YouTube has problems with this. You have this one creator does something fucking stupid, gets away with it. <coughs> Logan Paul. And then PewDiePie does something that's far less worse and gets his whole show canned. Come on, man. This is, this is, this doesn't add up, man. Where is the consistency among your rules and policies, your community guidelines? You guys, it's just like, it's all about the cash for y'all or brand safety. Alinity isn't exactly brand safe. So why are y'all defending her? She got to connect. She got to. And this girl, I feel bad for this girl that is dressed as Chun Lee. She can't fucking cosplay on her stream? What if that's one of her things that like draws viewers in? I hope they didn't perma brand banner over this shit. It's kind of so sexually suggestive. What exactly did she do on the stream? I got to see some footage, man. It's stupid, man. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're not an Arlenator yet, you need to go ahead and do that. Subscribe. And, uh, <laughs> peace.